Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import an Excel file to BC. Before we proceed, I'd like to tell you that this is my GitHub page where I'll be uploading all the source codes whichever I'm discussing in the video. So you can find it here. And this is my blog. Here I'll be uploading the detailed instructions on how to uh, do anything like uh, how to do the reports, how to create a report builders, uh, tables and everything. I'll be updating this twice or thrice a month. So you can watch this if you click on any any one blog you will get this page if you wanted to send me an email so you can use this contact form to send the email please follow my blog if you uh, really liked it and this is my uh, playlist okay so this is the youtube playlist where i am play uploading all the microsoft dynamics 365 business central related um, videos here so you can see so every week every week twice or thrice a week i'll be uploading i'll be updating this playlist so keep watching if you haven't subscribed it subscribe it give a like if you really like this video and share it with your friends so that everyone will be get benefited if you want more, if you want to thank me so you can use this option super thanks so this is the Excel file which I'm going to import it into BC. For that, we'll be creating a table, a relevant table and a page and what are the lay uh, variables, procedures, everything we'll be creating. So the first one which I'm going to do is what I'll be creating a table with all the relevant fields. Okay, so these are all the values. So this fields should be there in the table. And then I'll be creating a worksheet page. So worksheet page, you can just import the data <clears throat> So worksheet page, we can we, we are going to create a page as a worksheet page. OK, so that is what uh, the uniqueness in the worksheet page that we'll be creating uh, the page. So the page which uh, we already saw is what the card page, the list page, etc. But here we'll be creating this page as a worksheet page. So what is uh, what is a worksheet page? Like if you wanted to um, uh, import the data as a batch, okay? Like if you have any particular structure, and if you wanted to do, if you wanted to upload the data in that particular structure manner, so then you will be creating a work worksheet pages, okay? I hope in the previous video, like introduction to pages and everything, we have discussed about the various uh, types of pages we have. So we'll be creating that page where I'll be creating variables okay these are all the complete walkthrough first let me create a table okay like as i show here i'll be creating a table first so excel import table this is my table name and i am going to type p page and this is my sorry this is table t table and this is my table and i'm going to give an id so this should be the unique id and i can give my table name here gs my name excel import buffer so i'm just giving this and i can give that name to be like um uh, i am just giving the caption here uh, caption is equal to gs excel import buffer Okay, and I'll be creating the fields here. So the field one is uh, transaction name. I wanted to get the transaction name from uh, a name and it should be the code. Okay, so I'm just creating it inside the double quotes because and I'll be making it as code. Code 10. Okay, so I can create. So here I'm just creating the caption for this. For the better understanding, caption is equal to transaction name. And the caption, whatever we are giving inside the caption uh, should be in the single quotes. And the data classification, because uh, above I haven't given any data classification. OK. <clears throat> so I have to specify under what I'm just going to classify this. So this is like uh, I can just give customer content. OK, so I have to create uh, nearly uh, many fields which I have there. OK, so for that uh, related to that, I'm just I'll be just creating the field. Um, OK, so this is two and I'll be creating this as line number. 
line number and this is as integer okay and i'm just making this as integer fine i'll also create another field where my field is a file name so if you want to store the file name line number everything then you have to create accordingly i'll be telling you why i'm creating this when we when i execute the code so file name probably it sh it it will be bigger so i'm just giving the caption as file name and the next field which i'm supposed to create is what okay so since we are importing the excel so it may consist of the sheet so if you wanted to uh, um, access the sheet name as well then you can create a sheet name here so whatever you're going to store it that should be available here whatever you're going to use it that should be available here so the sheet name i can give it like 50 okay and here uh, caption sheet name and for the five the fifth the column that is a fifth field which i'm going to create is what uh, um, okay so here what i have okay and also i wanted to collect these are all the information which i'm collecting okay so this is basically okay so this is uh, basically we call it as what um uh these are all the data which I wanted to collect from my file. Okay, that is what is the sheet, what is the file, what is the, when it is imported and everything. Okay, so I'm just giving, uh, these are all the data. Okay, imported date. And I'm just making it as date. And I'm just making this also as well as imported date okay and editable i'm just going to make it editable as false and whatever you just wanted uh, uh th that if you feel like no one should edit it then you can just make it as false so you can just paste it and make it the sixth field where you wanted to import the time so time imported okay and you can just make it as uh, we have the um type called data type called time and you can just make it as imported time and if even this if you don't want anyone to edit then just make it as editable is equal to false and the next one is what uh, we are going to uh, use our, our our data from our excel file so product number customer number so whatever you just wanted to add it you can add so field uh, so you can just add that is what the customer number uh, so this is uh, seven and here you can use customer number and here it, it it should be a code okay so you can just leave it as a code and here don't forget to change it here customer number um, a code okay code 30 and here it will be a uh, customer number okay and i'm just going to add in another field um uh, called the product number so it will be a product number you can just name it as product number and you can leave it if you want it as a code and the caption is what the product code it is product number it is better to give the transaction that is a caption for everything okay and the date that is when you have sold uh, when you just uh, uh, sell it so that particular date if you wanted to write it so because that is there here okay the date so for that i'm just writing the date here date and then make it as date and you can just make it as a date okay and the next one which i wanted to include is what uh this that is i wanted to get the uh, type so here you can see that there is a type and i wanted to get it from the um uh, table called sales line item so i can just give here 10 and i can make it as type and just give a semicolon enum and after that enum you have to tell which which um 
which table you just want to do that is which one you just want to do get it so sales sales line type okay so this is the enum type so you can get it so these are all the enumerated type which is already available as a base type if you wanted to get it from here you can easily get it here so sales line type and then you can just make it as type and then um yes the next one which i wanted to use it was uh, the payment method quantity and unit price so we have three more to go payment method method with a, which is a text which is of text type okay text so you can change here payment method okay and then uh, i wanted to add the quantity so you can make it here 12 and then write it quantity and make it as um integer because we are just going to write it as an integer uh, because we cannot tell like 1.4 quantity is there okay so, uh, of course if it is not a, in a letter so quantity if it's not a liquid format then so we'll be telling one two three four right so i'm just making and uh, and then i'm just going to add the unit price here um semicolon unit price and uh, here i'm just going to make it as um uh, integer if you wanted to go with the decimal you can also write it so make it as a decimal and you can also specify the um, uh, decimal places uh, you you want it okay so i'm just going to make it as unit price okay as of now i'm not giving any decimal value so i'm just leaving it as such and if you wanted to specify the key so the key is very important here if you want to specify the key so you can uh, create it so transaction so what i wanted to give is what transaction name okay so, sorry transaction name okay transaction name is what uh okay what is here it's transaction product number right uh okay product number okay i want uh, the combination of transaction name and line number so you can just use it here if you wanted to make it as a transaction name and line number uh, or if you wanted to use it uh, as a product number or whatever it may be so you can do it okay so let me just find out whether the line number is correct okay line number dot okay so i'm just making these two as a um, <clears throat> as a keys and i'm just deleting all these triggers so my table is ready now i have created a table gs excel file import and i have created all the relevant uh, fields whichever i want now we are going to create a page that is what very very important here so what i'm going to do with the page so the first one is what you have to create the variables okay so we will be creating a variable here these are all my variables so i'll be creating all these variables and then i'll be writing the procedures okay like uh, because you have to read the sheet you have to get the exact value for example this exact value from the sheet okay that is this is a column this is a row you have to specify all these things and then you have to get the data from there okay so and then import you have to import the excel data for all these things we'll be writing the procedure and then we'll be writing the action to perform all these things okay so let me go to the page so uh, i'm just going to create a page with the proper uh, uh, t page okay i am creating from the scratch okay 50114 and i'm just naming this page as we named this uh, gs excel import okay so and i'm just going to make this as a worksheet okay because I, as i already told you that this should be a worksheet and i'm just going to uh, give the source table name as gs excel import buffer so you can just make it as application area is equal to all usage category as tasks so i'm just going to tell it as administration and i'm just making it as tasks okay and other than that uh, you can use auto split key and i'm just going to make it true because i have created uh, uh, multiple keys over there so uh, caption you can just make it as gs excel import 
okay excel import as a caption here and then delayed insert so i will just explain you what all these things once once the code is perfectly uh, if the code perfectly worked then definitely i'll be telling you insert allowed if you wanted to allow some insertion manually by uh, the user no because we are going to create it as a worksheet and we are going to upload it from an excel file so i'm just going to make this as insert allowed is false and modify allowed no that too is false because we are going to upload it from the excel sheet and page type even if you want you can just uh, make it as uh, uh, true but uh, always this may not work okay uh, page type um, yes so page type we have already done worksheet uh, save values okay so save values if you wanted to save the values whatever you have imported make it as true so stable we have added and so stable view if you wanted something as a proper sorting so i'm just uh, making it so stable view as sorting and i wanted to uh, sort it based on uh, the transaction so yes transaction name and line number so based on um, uh, the key i'm just trying to sort it and the usage category we have done application area everything is fine so now we will be creating a, a, a variables okay what are all the variables we wanted for our uh, excel that is we wanted for our page so we will be creating all these variables that is better idea to do that so i'm just going to create all the variables over here so transaction name uh, trans name i'm just creating this code and i'm just making this code as 10 okay and the next one is what file name i wanted to get a file name and i'm just making it as text 100 okay this is what uh, we have um, added here okay file name everything i wanted uh, fine so i'm just going to pass it here uh, okay so we will just come there uh, so file name and sheet name i wanted to get the sheet name as well so this too as a text of 50 uh, probably you can just keep it as a 50 or 100 so whatever you want uh, you can just keep it next one is what temp excel buffer so temp excel buffer so i'm just going to call the record excel buffer so excel buffer is what the default rec uh, default uh, uh, table which is already available in your uh, bc okay and i'm just going to tell that this is temporary i'm just accessing this temporarily so how you can find it go to the object designer and uh, you will get the object designer window here just type uh, excel okay excel so you can see that excel buffer is one table which is already there and if you click on this particular table you can see what are all the functions uh, variables they have functions they have and what are all the procedures that is uh, inbuilt procedures you can use it directly to your um, bc okay so here you can find all these things so you can check it later i have just imported uh, i have just used this particular excel buffer okay and then i wanted to write some message okay upload while uploading a message upload message msg uh, so what you wanted to uh, tell so label i'm just giving some label please choose the file okay and if you want to be more specific please choose the excel file okay and upload message if if then if you haven't mess uh, some if you haven't chosen some file okay if you're just canceling it then it has to show some message right so no file message label so it has to tell that no excel file found okay and next one is what a batch is blank that is you wanted to tell the transaction name is blank if there is no data in your excel and if you are trying to upload it then it has to display some message so i'm just uh, creating a, a variable called batch is blank message so it should show me that a uh, transaction is blank sorry this is for this is for the transaction name which i'm getting it okay so transaction uh, name is blank okay uh, name is blank and uh, okay okay so the, here i'm just creating various uh, messages wherever i just wanted to display excel import success so i'm just creating label and excel imported 
successfully okay so these are all the variables which i wanted specifically inside uh, when i create an action and also uh, inside my um, uh, pages so i have just created now i'll be calling all the resources here that is all the field here okay i'm just uh, closing this as of now so go to the layout and here you have area content and here inside the area content i'll be adding the trans name so this is world field and I'm going to use trans name and the trans name where here it will be asking me what is the transaction, whether the transaction is a regular transaction or it is an, a special transaction like that. If you wanted to get the name from them, you can just get it. So transaction name, name and uh, next one is what application area equal to all. So don't forget to give this or else your um, field may not be visible to you. And then I'm just going to create a repeater group here. Repeater and I will be creating a group. Mm. Okay. And here I'll be uh, writing uh, some, I'll be using the field here. Okay. Because since it is a worksheet, so I have to write it accordingly. Okay. So here uh, I'll be deleting this group. <clears throat> So inside the repeater group, uh, I'll be writing everything like editable since I wanted everything uh, to be false, editable to be false for all the fields and a field. You can use T field where you have to just call, uh, call the transaction. Okay, transaction name. Uh, so you can get it and then data classification is not required here because this is applicable to the table. And visibility is also false because it should not be visible. That is the data should not be visible and application area is equal to all. This is what the default um, property for all, all the pages, okay, page level fields. So you can create multiple, we are going to create a multiple fields here. First, we have created the transaction name. I'll be creating the line number and then <clears throat> I'll be creating for the product number okay and then i'll be creating for all the fields what are the fields you wanted to be displayed over there i'll be creating for everything uh, product number is fine then customer number <clears throat> and then we have to create it for um the date okay so the date and then we have to create it for the type And then we have to create it for the payment method. Okay, and then we have to create for, I think, quantity, unit price. So all these things, okay, we can, we'll be creating for file name, quantity, unit price. file name so other than this we have uh, various other thing right so we'll be creating for the file name and uh, we'll be creating for i think we have given the sheet name imported date so sheet name is the variable here okay so we have to get the sheet name from the field so sheet name from because you can easily find out that you are getting it from the table or the um, or the variable okay so you can easily find out that it will be like record dot something okay sheet name imported date and i think this is the last one imported time okay and what structure you want it you can just make use of it imported date and time i think right okay let me just check quantity unit price transaction name date okay imported time imported okay got it so time imported yes so we have created all these things application area is equal to all false let me just delete all these visibility uh, that is, we don't want to use this product number and all like visible is equal to false for from the product number. I'm just deleting 
the visible equal to false here because I just don't want to show the uh, transaction number and other uh, than that everything can be visible uh, so I'm just deleting it so understand the usage of the property and then use it don't use it uh, unless and otherwise you really know it so here I have deleted everything so now it is the time for us to create the action okay so I'll be creating an action uh, here you can see this is area and this is an action so I have to create an action here and I'll be writing um, import okay and here application area is equal to all caption I'm just writing the caption as um, import you can see the difference of what is the import here and I'm just uh, I wanted to do this inside the single quotation so that it will not show you any error and the caption image what type of image you wanted to display that in the action so already I have discussed about uh, the image property in my previous video in the action uh, videos so you can just to find it there so you can just try image excel image uh, sorry import excel so import excel you have import excel this is an image will be appearing over there promoted is equal to true i have already discussed about all these things in my previous uh, videos please go and watch it so promoted category application area is equal to all is there tooltip i just wanted to show the tooltip like import uh, data from excel okay and uh, here you have the trigger on action so here what i wanted to uh, do is what i wanted to tell if trans name is equal to nothing if if they haven't given any name in the transaction name this i will show you when i execute it then it should show me the error called um batch is blank so what i have given batch is blank is what the transaction name is blank okay then it has to read the excel okay when it will read the excel so it will read the excel sheet and it will import excel data so we will create it has to read the excel sheet for read excel sheet we'll be writing the <coughs> uh, procedure and for import excel data we'll be writing the procedure okay as of now this trigger is fine till now okay let us go and write the procedures local procedures i hope till this you can easily understand whatever the field we have created in the table i have just used that field and i have created a simple action here now we are going to write the local procedure over here so i'm just going to create a local procedure the first procedure um, <clears throat> probably will be to read the excel sheet okay so let us just create a, a local sorry tree procedure Okay, this is a local procedure where I'll be creating some uh, uh, variables here. That is here, I'm going to use uh, for managing the files because I wanted to get the data and I wanted to manage it, right? So I'm just using the code unit, um, code unit and file, uh, which code unit I'm just going to use it was the file management code unit. So this code unit is available in your object designer. You can go and find it. If you simply click and check for the file management code, you can get it. And I'll be using iStream to get the data. So in stream, in stream is what the data type. Okay, it's also a type of data where if you wanted to get the uh, data in a file format, you will be using the in stream from file. So from which file you are going, just going to get it. Uh, I'm just going to get it from, uh, so for that particular uh, text you have to use, you have to create it as a text file, okay, text variable. So I have created three variables, file, in stream and from file. Okay, and, and inside this begin, I'm going to write the code here. So what we are going to do is what I'll be getting whenever the data which we have imported, that has to be accepted. <clears throat> okay and it has to find the sheet and if uh, i'm just going if already if the uh, data is there i if i wanted to do some resets if i wanted to open the book okay that is the worksheet or workbook then i have to write some code here okay so begin upload 
upload into stream this is uh, <clears throat> this is a simple function which is available in uh, you can find this upload into stream for a uh, procedure which is already written okay so here you can see that upload into stream some you have to give some dialog title we have already created that as a text from folder from which folder you are going to get from filter so all these parameter which we have to pass it okay so i am just giving upload message okay so upload message i wanted to pass some message here what is there in the upload message you can see please choose the file okay what is the dialog message and then i can leave it empty and the next two if you don't have you can leave it empty and you are just going to tell from file what is there in the from file so you can check here from file is a text whatever the file which you are trying to import that uh, file name will be available here and i'm just writing a stream okay so this is a simple message which will be called this is a simple procedure which will which will be called if from file is not equal to uh, is uh, is empty okay is not equal to empty then it has to begin uh, it it has to do some other work so what it has to do file name uh, colon equal to file management file management is what uh, i have stored the file management uh, record into this particular variable file management dot get file name you can find it here get file name it will be getting the file from file from which file you have to get it okay and sheet name what the sheet name in sheet name what you have to fill it okay temp excel buffer so this is what the temp excel buffer where we are store we have stored the table excel buffer table here select sheet name stream okay and a stream okay so here uh, end end is there end else this is for this begin okay and i'm just writing else here error it should show a else okay end else error it should show what error it should show no file message there is no file if it is not empty then it should do all the stuff if it is empty it should show no file message here and now after this what i have to do temp excel buffer dot reset okay i am just going to yes reset so this is a procedure which is available in your temp uh, that is a excel buffer okay remove all filters including your self field selection whatever it is so i'll be resetting it okay and temp excel buffer dot um, delete all which will be deleting or uh, deleting the existing if any existing data not exactly in the ex uh, in the table okay and then you can see temp excel buffer uh, dot open book stream so you can see that this is a procedure which is available in your excel buffer table that is the base table a stream comma sheet name so you are just going to feed the sheet name and i stream and temp excel buffer buffer dot read sheet okay so here it is going it, it should read the sheet okay this is what the complete thing which we are doing in this procedure so i'm just going to name this procedure as read excel sheet okay so in this read excel sheet it will it is to read the sheet that's it okay and then we are going to create an another procedure to because it has to read in our excel you can see that it is like a column and row basis first column first row how it has to get how you have to tell the program that you have to get it like that in that manner so i am just going to write the procedure for that and i'm going to call it as uh, so we have a default uh, thing get i'm going to uh, write it get value at cell okay so you can just get it a row number so here you can create your own um, parameter here so whatever we are passing inside the procedure we call it as a parameter i have discussed uh, uh, about this in my previous messages which are related to param uh, procedures custom functions procedures and everything you can go and watch that 
column number integer and finally i wanted to display uh, that is this should return the text value okay so begin and the end i don't want this any variable so because here i wanted to read it based on the column and row values for that i'm just creating this okay temp excel buffer dot reset uh, reset and then if uh, temp excel buffer dot get 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 yes get get row number comma column number then um, so I have to uh, give back the text file right so I'll be this is a written type okay uh, if you want some written type you can just make it as text and you can just use the exit to pass the written type back to the function sorry back to the main calling calling block uh, temp excel buffer dot um, cell value as text okay so you are just passing some value back to the thing and else you are just writing the else part exit if this is not so i will be just exiting the code so here we are writing we have written the procedure to get a right a row and column wise uh, uh, <clears throat> format and we'll be calling this when we read the excel file okay now this is the very important procedure which really going to <clears throat> uh, create the complete uh, uh, that is uh, which where you wanted to feed that particular data and display that in the business central okay so import excel data so we'll be writing import excel data this is the procedure and i'm going to create few variables so gs import buffer and I am going to call the record, whatever that is the table, whatever I am create, I have created GS Excel input buffer. This table I have called it, and I am just going to uh, get the row number, integer, and uh, the column number as integer, okay, and line number as integer, and uh, so maximum row how many ma rows will be there as an integer <clears throat> okay all these things as an integer and instead the begin and end we will be writing the code here so i'm just initializing all the row number that is all the thing which we have de initialized declared right as zero initial value as zero column number colon equal to if you wanted to initialize you have to use colon equal to equal to zero and line number colon equal to zero okay we have did all these things so uh, we have uh, imported the gs import but that is my uh, table which we have created into the gs import buffer so what i'm going to do is what i'm going to reset the buffer dot reset okay and once if i reset it i'm just going to do it gs import buffer dot find last okay then i'm going to do what i'm going to do the line then line number i'm going to assign it so i'm going to assign gs input buffer dot line number so whatever the line number which uh while importing no like uh, that particular line number will be it will find the last line number that is what it will go and check for the last line number it will be updating the line number i'll be showing you how it is doing okay so again i'm going to use what temp excel buffer dot reset okay so now this is this is one block okay and then if temp excel buffer um temp excel buffer dot find last so we have to find the last record in that then begin so it has to begin it has to start working something so it will find the maximum number of row and it will that is uh, the temp excel buffer last row that is row number that is where we are going to store it so that will be assigned to the maximum row
okay and now we are going to do the follow because when uh, like uh, how many records here i have only few records even if i have 100 records or uh, 1000 records everything should insert into it so for that we have to use for loop this is for sure okay we have to use the for loop uh, row number colon is equal to 2 okay so anyhow because in excel it should start from the second row right so i am just going to start with the second row row number equal to 2 to max row up to what to begin so it has to do all these things okay line number line number is equal to line num uh, colon equal to okay line number colon equal to line number plus 10,000 as of now I'm accepting uh, that is it is uh, I'm just using plus 10,000 okay so any number you can just do whatever the number you have the line number zero so uh, it will be like uh, I'm just trying to uh, increment it so GS input buffer dot in it i'm initializing the variable that is i'm initializing uh, uh, i'm initiating the process here okay and what i'm going to do is what i'm going to evaluate all the data because uh, whatever the data which is coming in it uh, it needs to be evaluated according to the table which i have created right so i am just going to use the evaluate function gs input buffer dot transaction name <clears throat> which is the primary name uh, comma trans name that will be like i'm just evaluating uh, uh, according to the trans name so here this is the trans name which i have created okay trans name this is code 10 and here you can see this is the transaction name this is also code 10 accordingly it will be evaluated okay and gs input buffer dot line number is equal to <clears throat> colon is equal to line number okay uh, then i am just evaluating again so this is the proper evaluation which we will be doing i am doing gs import buffer dot product number <clears throat> this is what gs import buffer dot product number comma get value at cell this is the function this is the procedure which we have created above get value at cell and inside we have to pass the row number and the column number so what is your row number whatever you are getting because row number will be incrementing okay here you have started with the row number two so you have to type row number so you can tell row number comma the column number what is the column column you have to tell you it has to fetch the first column okay this is the row number and that is a column number press enter again i'm telling use evaluate gs import buffer dot what is the next one you wanted to do customer number okay like see it should be in the proper order uh, because product number is in a code whereas if you use date that will be in the date format okay that is a date data type so if you use date as the first one and you are trying to uh, um, relate with that it may show you error okay customer number uh, comma get value get value at cell row, num row number you have to use but the call column number is two okay and again evaluate gs input buffer dot customer number then date in your thing it is date okay date date um then comma get value at cell row number okay row number it will be incremented once this loop is fine then it will be incremented to three okay but for one row you have to get all the uh, columns data right row number comma three okay and evaluate gs input buffer dot what you wanted to evaluate date and then if you want if you have type we have type in our thing so get value at cell row number comma four okay evaluate gs import buffer dot what you want what you have i think uh, we have payment method quantity and price okay dot payment method <clears throat> comma get value at cell row number comma five see if you wrongly passing the row number you will get an error okay so be very careful while you are using and passing the row number payment and then quantity 
um, comma get value at cell row number comma six. Okay, and evaluate GS input buffer dot um, quantity. Then we saw about the unit price, right? Unit price dot get value comma get value at cell row number comma seven. Okay, so seven we have imported, and then other than that, sheet name, file name, and all we have uh, directly passed it. We have stored it here. You can see that file name, whatever the from file which is passing here, that will be accepted. Okay, so from file name will be in the file name, and sheet name will be there. So we have to directly call it. We don't want to evaluate this. Evaluate this is to evaluate against your Excel file. Okay, whatever you are trying to import it from the Excel file, it will be evaluated against your table. But here, GS input buffer dot sheet name uh, colon equal to sheet name. Okay, likewise, yeah, GS input buffer dot um, file name is the colon equal to file name. Uh, GS input buffer colon equal to sorry uh, buffer dot uh, imported date okay so these and all will be directly calculated from directly assigned from uh, the the one which we are just trying to do while we are importing it uh, imported data is equal date is equal to today whenever they are trying to uh, up uh, get it no whenever they are trying to upload it so that particular day uh, has to be used dot uh, imported time so when they have imported time imported colon is equal to time okay it will this will return the current time whenever you are trying to import gs input buffer dot insert finally it has to insert everything into the uh, fine so here you can use the end message and finally you have to show that uh, file imported successfully okay so you this uh, also i think we have already used this uh, please choose is excel imported successfully excel import success this we are going to use it excel import success <clears throat> okay i think we are fine with so far whatever we have created i hope you all understand what is this we will execute this and see how it really works okay and i'm just going to name uh, the page i'm just going to execute the page here save it and press control and f5 let's see what is the output <clears throat> So you can see that this is the transaction name which we have to give here. So if I haven't given any transaction name, it will throw an error. Okay. So that is what we have written in the code. Uh, so here you can see in the page we have the transaction name. So it will be it will be asking you for the transaction name. And if we haven't given any transaction name, then it it will be throwing the code. So I haven't done one more thing here. Uh, just let me do it. So in this particular action, I want to call this. Okay, whenever we have created two procedure, right? That is a read Excel sheet. And also we have created the procedure uh, called import Excel data. So these two procedure, we have to call it here. I'm sorry, I have forget it. Read Excel sheet and then import excel data so once the action is performed it will go and check this read excel sheet i'll explain i'll i'm again saving it and i'm executing it let us uh, just i'll close this okay you can see that this is the import option read excel i have given the image so let me execute this code
yeah so i'm just giving a transaction like a regular okay so if you just give regular you can see here that you have an option called import okay so this is what the action which we have written import so once if you click on import what it should do it will first check for whether you are giving some data into it if it is there is no data if i haven't given the transaction name then it will throw this error that is the this error okay La, transaction name is blank and if it finds the transaction name then it will read it will go to the read excel sheet procedure so where is the read excel sheet procedure here it is okay so it will first try to uh, get the data from the particular file it will load the file it will uh, it will uh, hold the sheet name everything will be done and then if there is no file then it will throw the error message if there is a file it will it will wait for the next thing to happen so it will open the book stream and it will read the um, uh, that is the excel sheet along with the sheet name and then it will read the sheet it will open the book stream and it will read the sheet so let me just execute okay so click on import so you can see here that please choose the excel file click on the choose file where you it will ask you to import uh, the data so let me just quickly import the data um you can see sales data is here click open so now it is showing working on it it is showing excel imported successfully so this is what the data which i have it here uh, in my excel sheet and you can see if you wanted to uh, manage something if you click on manage if you wanted to delete you can easily delete it so this is how your data will be stored uh, in the excel from excel to bc and if you wanted to go and search for the gs uh, table okay gs table whether i have created made it as okay gs um, page right okay gs excel import this is a worksheet basically gs excel import okay so if you click on this gs excel import whatever you have uploaded that will be available here and this is what the basic uh, till this is what uh, we have it in the excel file okay till the unit price okay so all these things are there in the excel file other than that you can see that these are all uh, like um, uh, other than that if you wanted to load the basic information of the sheet that is what is the file name you can see that sales data dot xls is my file name okay and you can also see that sheet name is what sheet one because in my sheet i i have only as a sheet one imported data today and imported time is this time okay this is how if you wanted to st uh, store the extra data uh, about the uh, file or something you can use it so even that it will be stored uh, in the table so that is why i have created this as well in the table when we created the table okay so here you can see that this is what we have created three important uh, functions to import the data and uh, um, read the data and process the data and in the further videos i'll be telling how to export the data from bc to the local drive like as a csv or excel file thank you take care bye bye